This Labor Day weekend, I'm going to be going and doing a series of videos on labor, on unions, and also economic disparities. On a previous short, I discussed how most Americans don't travel much, and only 56% of Americans even have passports. I think that's indicative of the reality of the American dream, or lack thereof. We all want to either be rich, or at least comfortable enough that we don't have to worry about making ends meet, to have a little bit of savings for some kind of emergency. And I think most Americans right now are anxious about the future, more so than we have been in a very, very long time. In some cases, more than some of our lifetimes. I recently read an article, and I'll post it in my description, from the Brookings Institution. And they said that upward mobility in America is actually lower than in most other industrialized countries. What that means is that people don't really become rich. They are born that way. And with the concentration of money by the rich, they just pass it on from one generation to the next. You very rarely hear of people who become rags to riches stories. And the reason that you don't hear that often is because it doesn't happen that often in America. When you do hear a story like that, it's often lauded and made to be a, a big thing because of its rarity. If you're born lower class, you're probably going to spend most of your life in that class. If you're middle class, you're going to spend most of your life in the middle class. And if you're upper class, you're going to spend most of your life in upper class. I think we're starting to come to the realization of that fact as Americans. And once we do, we can really address things like economic disparities, why we have potholes in our roads, and why we don't have enough housing in America for everyone, and why we don't have a national universal health care system. The rich aren't going to just give up their money out of the kindness of their hearts to make the rest of our lives better. In a democracy, it's up to us to be able to go and tell our government what we want. And I think people are starting to come to that realization. What are your thoughts on this topic? And if you do have some interesting things that you'd like to go and convey, please put them in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe.